Amen. Okay, Me. up next is Eric. Oh, Eric, you're so good. Now, I will say, uh, next name, I'm going to, I think Molly, I think you know them, because I don't want to mispronounce names. It makes you feel terrible. <laughs> next is M and Colin. Yeah. And Colin, Are you here? Way to the right area. Yes. I yes. Just oh shit, come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. It's okay. You're on deck. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> Once more for Eric. Hey everybody. So some of the other guys that do stand up on these things convinced me to come up here, even though I didn't have any material, and I'm not even convinced I'm all that funny which I'm just now realizing might not have been done in my best interest. So, thanks, jerks. Well, I don't have any jokes, but uh, I've been on all eight of these things now, so I do have some stories. Uh, this one harks back to the halcyon days of 2012, when my friends and I are on Joko Cruise Crazy 2, and we had the bright idea to spend our entire day in the island paradise of Aruba, going to a grocery store named Superfood to get a bunch of stuff for our soda cast that we do. And while we were there getting exotic sodas and junk, uh, I found a big bag of Swedish candy that I can only hope to pronounce as Zvart bitches. And the only words that I can kind of read that are English are licorice drop, and they look like a bunch of white and black discs. So I'm thinking, oh, they're like those little good and plenty, like candy-coated black licorice candies that everybody hates but me. And if you're thinking right now, ugh, black licorice, gross, just remember, that's where I was aiming for. That's my best case scenario. So I take them back to my stateroom, I open up the bag, I pop a couple of the candies in my mouth, and I bite down. And my eyes go wide as they explode into what I can only describe as salty dirt. Because <laughs> apparently the Swedes think it's funny to encrust their licorice with ammonia salt. And now take a moment to think of how many candies you can think of that are involved with ammonia. Not very many? Yeah, it's because it's as bad as it sounds. To make matters worse, this isn't normal licorice that at least has the decency to stay in one clumpy mass so you can spit it out easily when you realize, oh crap, black licorice? No, 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 no. This stuff, at the slightest provocation, disintegrates into a mass of tiny granules that embed themselves into every millimeter of your palate. You cannot spit them out, you cannot rinse them out. They are in for the long haul. <laughs> So as I'm standing there faced with this tongue torture, my first thought after, of course, oh God, is this my life now, was I have to get my friends to eat these. <laughs> Thankfully, we do the soda cast where we regularly imbibe awful things for other people's amusement, so this was an easy sell. Hey guys, you should try one of these. They're Interesting. <laughs> so they each grab one, one of these pieces of pain, they pop them in their mouth, bit down, eyes wide, anger, rage, fury, fear, conclusion, we have to get the boat to eat these. <laughs> so we came up with a plan. Now, those of you who this is their first cruise, or maybe their first cruise was last year's, might not know, but we didn't always have the awesome, like, check it out and take it anywhere you want game library we do now. No, no, no. Uh, back in the old days of yore, we had a single, solitary, hot, sweaty board game room, and we loved it. But yeah, it was moist, it was miserable, but what were you going to do, not play board games? <laughs> So, as barbaric as that may have been, it did present us with a captive audience. Because some other good, upstanding monkeys had set up a little table full of goodies and snacks that they had donated for everyone to partake of freely. It was a bastion of benevolence that I was going to ruin. <laughs> so, but of course, the most important part of any pitch is the presentation. So, we managed to find a big old uh, plastic martini glass. And we set this magnificent uh, vessel on this table and then proceeded to fill it with our mound of malice. And like it was magnificent, but it still needed something. So I took an index card and a big fat Sharpie marker and wrote in big black letters a message that I found to be simultaneously inviting and also a little threatening. Just the one word, eat, <laughs> and tucked it under. So, with the, plat with the trap set, we headed off to let it work its magic. Yeah. We came back about an hour later. The third of the candies had been eaten, and somebody had taken my card and written, Do not, on top of it. 
which was a fair warning, but easily circumvented, I took that same black marker and just scratched out the knot, and like, good as new. <laughs> and so, rearmed, we went off to dinner, and uh, one of the guys that joined our dinner table, a guy we'd never met before, we did a quick exchange, uh, introductions, and then he started to go on on a tirade about some jackass who had poisoned the game room snack table with some ass candy. <laughs> and was telling the story with a fervor that was equal parts amusement and anger because he realized it was funny, but he got caught in it, and if I had done my job describing it to you people, that sucks! <laughs> so we're laughing the whole time, but eventually we have to come clean. We're not laughing at his story. We go, Keith, 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 that was us. <laughs> Where he properly responded, you assholes! <laughs> but, I have to say, uh, you know, Keith and I were still friends. Hey Keith, are you in here? Okay, we were friends. <laughs> but the important part is we had secondhand confirmation that it was working, but we needed to see this for ourselves. So we eat dinner really quick, we, fit, we rush to the game room, and I see Storm in the game room. That's the big fish. I have to get Storm to eat these. So I don't have the patience to just wait and see if he'll come and be curious. I grab the chalice, I brush aside the card that now says don't eat, and then I just rush up to him. I'm like, Storm, hey, I got these candies on Aruba. Would you like to try one? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he grabs an entire handful of horrible. Oh. And he pops them all into his mouth at once. He bites down. His eyes go wide. And a grin forms from ear to ear. And he goes, heck yeah, salt licorice. And he gives me a high five. <laughs> that was six years and six cruises ago. And to this day, I still don't know if he was fucking with me. <laughs>